<laughs> Hello, my friends. How are you? How you feeling? What some news? Huh? Look at this. Look, look, look at this world. Beautiful world. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. So, so, so. Now the video about if you got my actuator i will show you full guide how to install what need to do why all questions step by step i will show you you receive it what need to do how to install that will know any mistake that you will satisfied i'm uh, i'm very glad to make you happy to make that your car will drive with no problem yes also i can uh, i can tell that i provide to my actuators it's 30000 kilometers warranty yes so let's go check my full video not words need to work <laughs> let's go what we have today Today we have this beautiful car, it's Toyota Oris, yes, 1.6, and we start, first of all, what tools we need, I will show you everything, every, every, every little thing, step by step. We need ratchet, a lot of spacers, I have three and this enough, and one, this is 10 and 12, a screwdriver and some knife, that's all. So let's, be let's begin, first of all, ah, what was, Before removing the clutch actuator, you don't need to do nothing. Don't need any clamp, shmamp, first one. Don't need any computer. You just need to remove it. carefully removing this plastic you see it's not original clips oh, and it can be broken no way oh you see it's <laughs> not good okay let's try like this I also don't want oh yeah it's good yes this way, this way. Because when you have original, in original clips, you need to push it down and it come out. And people don't know about it and uh, broke it and uh, put some not original and then after that it's not possible to remove them. Okay. Yeah. 
we have the clutch actuator in this area. So we need to remove the battery and mount and uh, better to to get your key in your pocket. Okay, oh this it's also not original. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it missed some parts. Someone has did. Now let's remove the battery. Always, always, the battery need to start from minus. Always. We need 10. Now we need to remove this mount. To remove this one, we need to remove it. Will, if, if nobody was removing, so look at this. This moving easy, and on this we need to to make zig like this, and it will come out. It has some stopper. Okay. Okay, and one small. Now we have clutch actuator. This one. We need to remove. I will show you like this. We need to remove this connector, this connector, and three bolts. One and two on the bottom. Okay? Don't need to remove this nut. Don't need. Just this. We need the screwdriver. Need to push this stopper. You see? And put screwdriver and just turn it. Up and come out easy and no broken. About this one, I make like this. I put screwdriver on this stopper, little push it, push it, and wait a minute. Oh. I'm always uh, uh, pull by wires. So the wires is very strong in this area. Just need to push on the stopper. Push and up. You see? Easy. Push and to the side. And also moving to the back, to the side, it will know. And this connector also to the side. Okay. And now I'm removing the bolts. And now So you removed it 
That's all. It's removed. What need to do next? You send in to me this your broken one and I will no wait until it will come to me. Bye. Once you will send it to me, I will send you another one. Refurbish it and ready to install. Like this. It's mine, refurbish it with warranty, 30,000 kilometers. Yes, you, it's all ready, ready to install. You just need to install it and I will show you how. So, as I said, this actuator, refurbish it, it uh, changing, uh, it's fully repaired, all. Motor inside all 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 that it will work and will no do problem for you and for me Also, you will get these three washers. Maybe you will need it. Maybe not. I don't know if you have clutch for manual you will need it and Also, you will have this wire This wire will help us to make calibration if you don't have a scanner Okay, washer, I don't need in this car washer, but in any case, I will show you uh, in uh, what situation you will need it. And the wire, I will keep the wire. It also will help us, okay? So now I'm ready to install. Don't need to do nothing, just we need to install it, okay? It's my main mechanic. Yeah? What do you say? What do you say? <laughs> the, the, yeah, yeah. Let's leave us now. Yes? Ay, ay. So I'm going to install it. Yes, like this. First, I move to this way, and after that, this. Okay. Okay. Now, so we need to check if we can install it with no gap. You see? I'm sliding to the side. Yes, I can install it, there's no gap. But so I'm installing it. I'm uh, put few of bolts. Okay. And I'm moving it to the side and checking if I can install it without gap, without clearance to clutch fork. You see? Yes, I can install and can uh, tighten the bolt. It I have some uh, space, right? Right. But if I will install, will move it and still will have like this, it will no work. No work. I need, you need. You need to remove this nut, remove this nut and install some washers that you will also have with my actuator and you install it to this place until you will get no 
no clearance, no gap. Okay? It must be like this. Like this, it's not okay. So I'm installing it. Okay, in this, I'm tightening the bolts. So I'm tightening the bolts. I move it and check again that there's no gap. No gap. I'm hold by hand. Let's read the. Now I'm moving by hand, hold it and tighten the box. Okay. Check again that there's no gap. See? This okay, but it's no any gap, no clearance. Install back connectors. One. Where is the another one? Another one. Yes. Install back the battery. And I will show you how to do calibration. First, plus. Don't forget, I hold the key in my hand and plug the minus. Okay. Now, if you have scanner, you make learning by scanner. If you don't have it, no problem. You can make learning by with wire that you will receive. And you will no need to find it. You make Oop. and this. Okay, now we go going to make calibration. Now we need to make bridge like this. What you see, it's one, two, three. Where is it? Yes. Like this. Like this, you see? One, two, three, from four from one side. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four from other side. Yeah. Now I'm not pushing the brake, not pushing the brake. I'm Turn on the switch. Check. If I, if I have neutral, need to do calibration only for clutch. If I don't have a neutral, need to do full calibration. So let's, I will show you this case when I have the neutral. Okay. All flashing, all flashing. Now I need to fast, fast. Uh, Press seven times to the brakes and I will hear some uh, some noises. Pick pick. It's a transmission control model. Make pick pick. Okay. Now I have neutral and I'm going to do calibration only for clutch. It's mean plus minus plus minus. Okay, 
Now I'm release the brakes and press again. Three times, three long beep. Okay. Now I need to push three times very fast. Two short beep. Beep, beep. That's all. I need to release the brake. Turn off the switch. Remove the wire. Wait about 10 seconds until the dashboard will off. Wait. No need to fast. Now, without brakes, I'm turn on the switch. I heard some noise from clutch actuator. Grig, grig, grig. Okay, it's very, very, very good. And now I'm pushing the brakes. Push the brakes. And start the engine. The neutral must flash, flash, flash and light on. Let's check. That's all. Now learning is done. The learning is done and you can check, you can make the test drive. Look at this. It's working. Now you're making test drive and you send me two photos. One is the millage and one is the win number and i will wrote the warranty to start that's all good and you will uh, in silence you will uh, go <laughs> good and now i will show you what need to do when the n is disappear okay let's go And now I will show you if the neutral is disappear. So you turn on the switch. Oh, you turn on the switch and no neutral, right? Okay. What you need to do, you need to do the same. You install the wire. One, two, three, four. Uh. Okay. Installing the wire installed. Turn on the switch without brakes, without brakes. You see, no neutral. All it's flashing, it's okay. So, once again, seven times on the brakes. Two beeps, beep, beep. Now we're going to minus, 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 minus. Neutral. Release and push the brake. Yes. Two, two, two long beeps, right? Now three times fast brakes. Also two short beeps. Okay, release the brake, turn off the switch, remove wire. Now, turn on the switch and wait.
we have the neutral it's okay now we turn off the switch waiting until dashboard off okay without brakes without brakes turn on the switch and once again i heard some little noise quick 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 clutch actuator making some now push the brake and start the car the neutral must flash few times and light on yes Calibration done successfully, after that, after calibration, you need to drive in slow mode, don't need to, wow, yeah, I'm going, no, 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 need to drive in slow mode, about 30, 40, 40, yes, kilometers, that it will calibrate himself, and you will see, it will some difference, from start, and uh, until uh, after that that you will do this long test drive and also send me the millage millage of the dashboard and win number i will note the warranty that's all my video thank you order from me parts call me message me i will help i help to everybody yeah a lot a lot of people ask me what need to do how to do and uh, i'm helping to everyone <laughs> and thank you thank you i very very appreciate to everyone that uh, put some comments ask some questions uh, and uh, message me yes good luck